What is up everybody and welcome to Savage Arm Wrestling. Let's talk about Voodoo Flossing the Wrist. Let's get savage. quick let's just talk about roughly what voodoo floss is it's literally just a piece of rolled up rubber but this piece of rolled up rubber is a great tool to improve mobility overall functionality and to improve your recovery time let's show you how to wrap it begin by holding the tape in the palm of your hand and then wrap around once to gain a bite on the tape you can see here I am using my thigh to secure the roll of tape between wraps if we are applying it to ourselves. Again, this is not required. If you have somebody, you can wrap it for you, which is much easier. But for applying it to yourself, you want to take your time and use your thigh to stabilize that roll of tape. Each time we're wrapping around a 50 percent stretch and a 50% overlap is applied and we're trying to encompass as much of our palm, our thumb, and our wrist as we can. As you can see I am doing some overlapping but that is to get as much coverage as I can over my palm and my thumb. Now once you reach the end, you want to make that last wrap a little bit loose so you can wrap back around and have an anchor point to secure to. This is so that you can have an easy quick release point. At this point you just want to treat it like a wrist warm up. You want to start with some wrist rolls. Make sure to kind of stretch it out as far as you can without feeling pain. Then you want to go through some cupping. Going try to go through the full range of motion all the way in and all the way out. Try doing it with your hand open, stretching those fingers out as far as you can. You'll feel the pull from the band, but that's all right. Um, give a little bit extra with your hand, stretching it with the other hand. You should feel the real nice pull, real nice stretch. Now let's do a little bit of the riser and the de deviation. And go through as much of the motion as you can. I like to do a full stretch and hold it. And then I'll flip it inside and do a full stretch and hold it there too. Then I'll just kind of go around mixing up the rest of the movements, stretching my fingers around, and after I feel nice and stretched out, uh, we're going to undo the strap and we're going to call it good. If you have pain that persists or lasts longer than a couple of days, I do suggest seeking medical attention. The worst thing you could do is not go see a doctor and then have something seriously wrong that ruins your career. Vice going and the doctor saying that it's nothing. But I hope you guys uh, learned something and I hope you can utilize this to help improve your recovery time from practice to practice or from sparring session to sparring session. You guys stay savage. <laughs>